sometimes I question why exactly I keep trying stupid challenges in these games. Is it some form of gaming Stockholm Syndrome? Maybe that's part of it, but I tend to think differently. There's something special to these worlds, especially that first time. Leaving the sewers, Vault 101, the fucking immaculate, hey, here's the world, go nuts part of Skyrim. The unknown, surprise, it's an element that tends to wane with time because knowing tends to unravel the mystery to which you were compelled in the first place. I think that's it. I'm a glutton for surprise. I need to be caught off guard, chasing nonsensical knowledge that's so niche and stupid, it circles all the way back around to being brilliant and making me sit back and go, huh. That is a thing that I know now. There's a great video I watched recently by H Bomber Guy that talks about the ridiculous and arbitrary nature of speedrunning. A lot of it I think applies to what we do on this channel. More specifically, one quote, which I will leave in whole so as to properly attribute this person while not claiming any of their words as my own. No particular reason for this caution. It's a kind of logistical fun? Is that a kind of fun? That doesn't sound like a kind of fun. It's. It reminds me of the feeling I got when I had my GPS out and it told me to take a route through a park that I knew really well. And I was like, nah, I can go through that faster. And I walked a different route and I got through it faster. It just felt amazing. It's a bit like the feeling I got when I decided I was going to do my taxes eight months early. Have you ever done your taxes early? No, I haven't, but I have disarmed the entire population of Solitude and witnessed NPCs looting merchant chests underneath the ground. So I know the feeling and I've been chasing it ever since. You know, I like this guy. I think we share similar opinions and there's not too much that we disagree on. In an effort to keep threading the center of the arbitrarianism, surprises, knowledge, and strategies Venn diagram, I asked you all to write me quests, challenges, something to get the ooh, what's gonna happen juices flowing within me. From assassinations to escort missions, fan fiction, and impossible boss battles, one thing became stunningly clear throughout this experiment. All of your ideas are terrible. What I'm hoping though is that, well, oh, he's still following me. What in the God's name is that? Ah! I came up with that name. I used my incredible creativity and wordplay to come up with that name. I think I crushed it on this one, I'm not gonna lie. I was very, very proud. I don't get it. What do you mean? What do you mean you don't get it? Assassin's Creed, Assassin's, it's funny, it's funny. I'm funny. Rogue Raven, 1701, thank you for your contribution. You are an assassin from the Morag Tong in Skyrim and have a list of 10 people who must die. This one's fairly simple. Assassinate 10 NPCs, but each one has to be with a unique method. If I'm caught by a guard, someone else has to die. If I'm touched by either a Dark Brotherhood assassin or the sadness and regret of my crimes, I lose and the challenge ends. First thing we need to do is elect our lucky murder targets. Nazim. 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 Grilod the kind. Everyone is saying Nazim. Every everyone is already saying Nazim. Can we relax on the Nazim? All right, time to begin. Okay, this... I just got here. I, uh, <laughs> have you no respect for what we do on this channel? Did it spawn me in Bleak Falls? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we start in Bleak Falls. Hands are tied. Well, I know how to get to Whiterun from here, so killing Nazim shouldn't be too bad. I can just feel the snow crunching between his toes. Wait, does anybody know where Nazim goes to sleep? The drunken hunt. Wait, what? He really goes to the Drunken Huntsman. Nobody goes to the Drunken Huntsman. This is like, the, this is the most forgotten building in the entire game. Okay, nice. Not too many witnesses in here, only one. Oh my God. Ah, oh, no way, Nazim has sex? Why you little filcher. <laughs> I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. Wait, no, 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 no. This means I have to I have to murder an extra person now. <laughs> we already failed. 
since I have to kill an extra person, it only makes sense if we're gonna kill Nazim for both being a douche and having more sex than all of us, I should kill his wife, Alam, as well for having sex with Nazim because by association, that means she sucks too. Barngar, stay right there. Let me just bounce my feet off the floor a few hundred times. He doesn't even know it, but he's helping train the greatest assassin in Skyrim's history. It's kind of stupid how much loose gold is hanging around down here. Where are we at with cash? 275? That should be enough to get Frenzy. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Frenzy. Oh, fuck yeah, we're still getting XP. I cannot wait to just fast montage skip past this when we put the video together. Isaac, if you can hear me, turn this into a cool dance montage as I level up my sneak. POV, you're the greatest assassin the world's ever seen. So efficient. 25. God, I love this. God, I love efficient leveling. We need to find the perfect angle to get Nazim. We can worry about Alam after this. We can probably just kill Alam in her sleep. How the? How am I spot? Okay, there we go. Oh, now, how am I spotted? Is it the chickens? Oh, it's definitely the chickens. Bunch of narcs. Can I kill the chickens and get away? What if I frenzy a chicken? <laughs> Let's let him out. So, 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 quick, check it on the loose. Everybody run. Where the hell did the, oh, who, wait, wh <laughs> which one of you did this? How could you? Well, at least we know that the frenzy spell is very effective. Oh, oh, this is it, this is it, this is my shot. No, who sees me? God dang it, that was the perfect. Now we're back to hidden. We got him. Hold on, hold on, they, they almost detect me though. We need to hide. I, I really wanna watch the entire fight go down, but no, I'm staying here. I'm staying put. I didn't get a bounty. I can definitely see blood splatter and murder stains everywhere. What a clutch shot. Kind of underwhelming, but who cares? One target down. Okay, like a real assassin, we're gonna stake out the Drunken Huntsman. I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. No thanks. Kinda of waiting for somebody here. Okay, Alam's not here. That means Alam's probably on her way here at the very least. It's dark outside, easier for sneaking. Is that Alam? That's Alam. We gotta make a play here. This is the perfect opportunity. Ah! I missed! No! No, 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 no! She's, ah, she's right there! This is the perfect time. Don't turn, don't turn. Stop. Stop walking. Gotta go around. Oh, no, how did I, oh. where is she? Okay, uh, okay. Can I wake her up without getting caught? Can I frenzy her from within the room without getting caught? I don't think so. Screw it, this is for science. Oh, <laughs> I fucking hate this game. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, okay. It, it missed, but I didn't want it to hit. I wasn't I wasn't feeling confident in that throw. <laughs> Damn it, I'm, I'm getting sweaty now. This sweater's too warm. What am I wearing underneath? Am I wearing a cool shirt? Oh, it's generic. She's frenzied. Is someone there? No one's there. No one is there. <laughs> hmm. Nothing here after all. Oh, she's on that side of the bed. It didn't work. Dang, and I can't rent the bed here. I was gonna try and sleep with Alam. <laughs> you tried mercenary work? It might suit you. I'm in the middle of it, Amrin. There she is. Oh god, she's in the middle of three people. I'm so gonna get caught. We got her. Who's that? We got her. Stay right there. Victory. Did I see you talking to Sven? An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Oh, Fendel, I hate you. You're such an r slash nice guy. Camilla Valerius won't be with a nice gamer like me. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Hmm, methinks, milady. <laughs> Shit, this is why we're killing you, Fano. My dearest Camilla, I yearn to have you as my own, washing my linens and my fine blonde hair 
to cook my dinner from my stove and tend to my house while I wander. <laughs> Yours truly, Sven. I know I've spent a lot of time in the last few videos making fun of dude bro podcast douchebags, but I am telling you, when my YouTube shorts algorithm gets me onto like finance bro TikTok, this is straight up how they talk. You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. I appreciate your help. Lead the way. He's under our grasp. Let's kill him with Rocky. I think a follower is the most feasible Rocky kill that we can get. Excuse me. No, since when has Ember Shard Mine ever been guarded by Goth Mommy? That's close enough. Make up your mind. Do you want to fight her? Okay, she wants to fight. Don't make me a vampire. You think you stand a chance? Vandal, do something. Okay, nice and easy. Don't like the looks of this. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Now, I don't think the rocks can actually kill him. But we can try. There you go. Right into it. Right, right into him. What's your health? Ooh, that did a good chunk. Come on. Oh, please kill him. Please. Oh, he only goes down. No, it's got to kill him. Can I push the rock into him? Or can, <laughs> please just let it let the rock kill him. He gets his health back so quickly. Maybe if I just hit him one time. Mush. Come on, Rocky. Sur uh, surround him in rock so that when he stands up, he takes a bunch of damage. I don't want to deliver the final blow. Once more, and I'm going to have to kill you. Okay. It's clearly getting a little bit agitated with us. Oh, it worked. Oh, my God. The rock killed him. Oh, I didn't think it would. I didn't think it would work. <laughs> no way. Holy shit. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Now we got to get over to Rorikstead and take out Lemkill. Is that a horse? That could get us to Rorikstead in like two minutes. Oh shit, it is a horse. It's legal? Hold on, time out. Okay. Why am I going this route? Oh God. <laughs> I'm a good assassin. Am I alive? No. Yes, I'm taking the same route. Don't really care. I'm going to make it. I can do this. I'm an assassin. Assassins improvise. Uh, is this a TOS violation? <gasps> I'm alive. Hold on. Grab something. I'm alive. Am, am I? Am I? Oh, what are you? Here we are at Rorikstead. Do yourself a favor and don't have children. They're good for nothing at all. See, this is why we have to kill you. Ah, that is a wonderful, absolutely brilliant idea. E -e 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 Where are all the giants? Oh God! No, 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 no! Not now! Not now! It's way too early. It's so full. Oh, it's so way too early to do this. Can I get the assassin back to town? I, w I really wasn't ready for this to start up. Holy shit. Okay, okay, this is happening. This is happening. This is happening. We are being chased by an assassin. Don't do this now. Don't attack me while I'm in a compromised state. Maybe the citizen. Can we get the assassin to kill Lemkill? I can't be touched. Now the challenge has really begun. I can't kill the assassin. Oh, he's caught on a rock. No, we're going to bring him into Rorik's dead and see what happens. He's tracking. He's following. Nice and easy. Come on. I've only killed two of my targets. Fight. No, not a fight. You guys are you guys are in on this too, right? Oh, no one's gonna help. Uh, okay, this is bad. No way. They all just run away. Nobody tries to help me. I'm stuck. Oh, God, that was close. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. We're getting away. We're getting away. All right, close call. Is he gonna spawn back in? The the problem is if he's following us and we get caught up fighting wolves or something, that could really just end the run. I have no clue if the assassin comes back. I gotta be careful here because the giants are sneaky. Oh, he's stomping. Mr. Giant, you got a nice little lane right here. Come on through. Of course, there's wolves. I got to kill him quick. Rorik's dead just up this road. We're almost there. Come around the bend. Oh, he's not getting through that front gate. I don't think he can fit through the front gate. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Can I push him? What the? Okay, hold on, hold on. We got something here. Oh shit, the giant left. No, 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 no. Come back, come back. Come on, Gregory. 
feel like that would be a nice name for a giant. He got through! Wrong target! Wait, that's not the target! But you're... Uh, amazing work, Greg! I just saw him. He better not have... Shit, did he run to the inn? There he is! Oh! You got this. Come on, Greg. Finish the job. Not on me! Did you get him? Yeah! <laughs> Attaboy, Greg! Oh, you... Oh, I wish I saw it. I couldn't see it. I had to make sure you didn't kill me. But, Greg, I'm so proud of you. Our friendship has come so far. My father, Ralki, manages the inn. He used to be a soldier, but he left that life behind. Hey! Uh, I'm done. I'm never playing this game again. Angie, can't play Falkreath, has that archery test that is annoying. Angie, Falkreath, annoying. Anissa's cabin has paralysis potions, then you can push her off. Ooh, that's a good idea. I assume the poisons y'all were talking about are in her basement? I don't have any lockpicks. I gotta run to Whiterun then to get a lockpick. Oh, she has a key? Why didn't you just say she has a key? She doesn't have a key, you liars. <laughs> it just made me murder this poor old lady for no reason. You don't have any fucking lock, no wait, sorry. He does have lockpicks. My bad, sorry, Lucan. Stupid fucking lockpicks. The potent paralysis poison, yes. It yeah, looks like we gotta get way up. Oh God, don't ever do that again. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I got jump scared by Thalmor. I think that's grounds for channel deletion. Oh, we made it to Angie's cabin. Name's Angie. And if you try anything stupid, I won't hesitate to put an arrow in your head. Let's see about that. Time to die. No, no, no. Calm down. Sorry, a girl can't be too careful out here. I set up those targets a long time ago. I shoot at them from time to time. Ah, you any good with your bow? That I am. You know how to use one? Let's just say her scene would be jealous. I'm pretty good. Well, let me know if you ever want to practice. I'm pretty good with a bow and arrow. I'm ready for some practice. Excellent. My older brother took me out hunting a lot when I was little. At the time, it was difficult to keep food on the table, let alone have enough left over to sell at the market. Oh no, she's got a sad backstory. So whenever we came across more than one deer in a single location, it was imperative we kill as many as we could. You have 10 seconds to hit each of the four targets. Draw a string and get ready. One, two... One notch above. Got it. Woo! We did it. All four <laughs> targets in 10 seconds. Nice job. Looks like you're no low. Why is that an option? <laughs> I mean, she's cool. She's pretty. She's got a nice backstory. She lives up here in isolation. She gives me skill points. Her family was killed? Who killed your family? It was nice to finally meet someone out here who doesn't want to rob you or take off your head. I know it isn't much, but here, take this bow. It was given to me by my family. It's special to me, but brings back too many painful memories. I'm sorry, Angie. I'm sorry. I can't. Oh God, I'm gonna lose. Never mind. I'm not gonna lose. As fun as this mini challenge was, it was taking too long, and my archery teacher's tragic backstory made the shame of my actions weigh heavily on my soul. I feel disgusting. I feel dirty. I, I feel icky. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, like, oh, that was, that was rough. That was rough. So I gave up the arbitrary assassin lifestyle, but mostly it was just taking too long, and there's a lot more we gotta get to. This is Drug Trip. It takes place in Oblivion. The writer of this quest is Vogon Poet 1938. Trenis Doronius is an Imperial City resident with a very particular schedule. 
On the 19th of every month, he packs his bags for a two-night skooma-fueled bender in Breville. You have been hired to escort the hapless Imperial to his party destination at the Breville Skooma Den. Okay, simple. Find our master of recreational medicine somewhere in the Imperial City and follow them along their scheduled monthly pharmacy visit protecting them all along the way. If I or the client die, mission failed. Our hero, Chester Cheetah, has been tasked with this mission after completing his first. We're doing things in a weird order today, so you'll get Chester's origin story later. Step 1. Locate the client. Morning. Morning, how are you? Hey! So that was stupid. Now I only have one Stop day. Okay, right no, nope, that, that was a bad idea. All right, hey, it's only the 18th. He doesn't leave for his drug trip until tomorrow. I have 24 hours to find our target. This should not be bad. Maybe I just try to stumble across him. He's wearing a red coat. It can't be that hard to find him. Is that him? That's a red shirt. Hi there. Not the target. Red shirt, red shirt. No red shirt. Uh, the Fighters Guild is recruiting again. Not a bad way to make some money. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, that's a red jacket. No, it's another Chester the Cheetah type character. I can't wait throughout the night and then miss when he leaves. <gasps> is that him? There's two red jackets over here. Who are you? I heard there was some- Marinus Catiotis. Vontan Sintaf. Why does everybody have the same outfit? Red jacket, this has gotta be him. God, no, Tertius Favonius, they all have these same names. Tertius Favonius, Ramana and me have set up housekeeping. <laughs> She's a real doll, isn't she? No, you are not the drug addict I need. It's like they all decided to wear the same outfit on the same day just to confuse me. Everybody needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. He's got to be around here. <gasps> Trennis Deronius. Okay, this is his house. We found his house. Maybe he's just sleeping in here. This is okay. This should be legal. I was hired. <gasps> he's not in bed. <gasps> Did he actually leave? <gasps> My client! No, he's already left town? What time does he leave? Does he leave at like midnight? You! I think we got him. I think we got him. This guy looks just as measly and pathetic enough to be our target. Whoa! Oh, you, you scared me. I was off in my happy place and you just popped in and wrecked the whole thing. Now our day of stalking has begun. Where, oh where, will the balding men go? Man, look at that shiner. That is just a brutal... I mean, it looks like somebody pranked him when they shaved his head. They're weapons and armor. I hate the sun can help. Good day. Okay, it's 5 p.m., so he goes home at 5 p.m. He's gonna be gone before midnight. Hopefully he's aware that I've been hired to protect him. You should talk to him and bribe him. He needs the money for drugs to forget about all the ridicule he gets for his hair. That's pretty sound advice. He doesn't see us yet. Let's surprise him with money. What can I do for you? See? Was that hard? Okay, uh, wait, did I just get robbed? <laughs> I think I accidentally got robbed there. I didn't mean to. A pleasure to speak with you. He's getting hammered right now. He's already drinking. God, what is up with your face? You can see his teeth under his chin. This is what addiction does to you, my friends. Well met. And he just left the house. We caught him. All right, everybody. The mission has started. This is going to suck. This is so stupid. We're just gonna walk the whole time. I bet we don't, we're not gonna run into any drama. And so began one of the stranger journeys I've had on the channel. I wanted the ultimate immersion. I wanted to surround myself with the sights and sounds of oblivion, soak up every ounce of charm that spills onto my absorbent NPC brain. I took a vow of silence. I don't know why. I just decided I'm gonna try not to talk as much as possible throughout this whole ordeal. This meant forcing my Twitch chat to just pretty much listen to this. Good to see you. I am fully immersed. I am oblivion. Good morning. What is that? What is that? Danger? Danger? No. Okay. All right. It's just a guard. Relax. We're all good. My Twitch chat took this as an opportunity to try and break my immersion, but my strong will won't let that happen. God, I just fucking love my brute beer so much it's unreal, and I drink that whole goddamn thing right now. Unfazed. Immersion completely intact. Here we go, here we go, here we go! Keep him alive! I need my magic. I have fear demoralized up to level 25 for 30 seconds. Don't no! Run. Oh, shit! Wrong button! Go, get out of here! Trennis, run! Go, there's arrows! Oh, for the love of mug root beer. Fuck, fuck, fuck! 
Ah, God, how do I miss everything? I didn't mean to demoralize you, Trennis! I can't hit anything. I'm freaking out. Guard! Guard! Oh, no, where did he go? He went up the hill. He had to have gone up. There he is. No, no, Trennis, it was an accident. Ah. I accept your surrender, my friend. <gasps> Vow of Silence back on. Immersion locked in. No matter how hard these immature chatters try, they will not break my concentration to living in this world. I display my kidney stones proudly in cases on my wall. The wall of my <laughs> our walk continued while the silence was only filled by either the crunching of our footsteps or the voices of the kind-hearted people we met along the way. Morning. What? <coughs> Stop. Talking. Further down the road, I found myself mesmerized by the sassy movement of Trennis' hips. Trust is important in a friendship, and it's good to know at least the lower portion of my new best friend won't lie. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Don't get involved in the fight, dude. He's gonna get himself killed. Oh no, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Run, run! Uh. Run, Trennis! You, Argonian! Get over here and help me! Take that! Uh. Go ahead! Phew, close call, but Trennis and I continue. I start feeling even more connected to this world and the sounds around me, even taking time to listen in on tense political discussions between other citizens. Hello, we are sorry to hear that you did not have a positive experience with well Starfield. Met. Our team is constantly working to ensure that what Starfield is, is a fun and polished experience. Hail! How goes it? Not bad. Good to hear. How goes it? The Emperor and his three sons, dead right under the noses of the Imperial Guard. Uh-huh. Is this true? No doubt. Someone should teach you some manner. If you're not playing Fall Guys right now, you are missing out on quite, quite possibly, possibly the, the most engaging, engaging cinematic, cinematic masterpiece in gaming history. Some of Starfield's planets are meant to be empty by design, but that's not boring. When the astronauts went to the moon, there was nothing there. Damn Trennis, what are you doing out here with all this ass? Double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, hello ass, the sun is still out. You flick your cigarette out the window, and you drive for a couple more miles, and you smell something funny, and you look over into the back seat, and sure enough, Grandma's well, bring her again. Good evening. What's new with you? Where are the drugs? Where are the drugs? The mission is complete. I do not have to do a vow of silence anymore. That was ridiculous. From <gasps> what? Stop! What are you gonna do? Report me for stealing all of your illegal narcotics? I missed. Go. Yes. Stop! Then pay with your blood! Ow. Oh. Ow. Yo. Ow. <laughs> Not like this. Uh, no! Citizen. This is The One Ring. It was written by user dash XZ4FJ9YN3N. We can just, we can just call them password. Now this one is a bit weird, so give me a sec. We're turning back the clock and heading back to Morrowind. My sweet, sweet introduction to these games. It's been far too long since Morrowind has been on the channel. I think two years nearly? Fetus of four months. Wait, what? It's actually in my inventory? What happens if I just take it off? Can I just drop my baby? 
So early on in Morrowind, you find this ring called the Ring of Engraved Healing. It kicks off a short quest chain with this dude named Fargoth, and anybody who's ever played Morrowind knows this guy. I have a feeling that you and I are about to become very close. Inspired by the video game, The Lord of the Rings Online, the original prompt for this quest is simple. Carry this exact ring all the way to the fiery lava pits of Red Mountain, deposit the ring in the lava, and destroy it forever. The catch is that Red Mountain is filled with some of the toughest enemies in the game. Now I can give the user some credit for the submission, but this challenge was actually done a long time ago by friend of the channel and grandfather of Morrowind memes, Mickey D. And because I can't help myself over complicating yet another challenge, I added my own twist. This is the starting town in Morrowind, Seda Neen. It might look a bit different to you if you've played because I'm using a mod pack called Morrowind Rebirth. Links below if you're interested. Before delivering the ring to Red Mountain, I'm going to, as is kind of tradition on this channel by now, not leave Seda Neen or the surrounding swamps for three hours, speeding away at making as much money, leveling as much as possible, and trying to become as powerful as I can in order to take on... Vivek, incredibly overpowered human god hybrid with great posture, I don't know all the lore all that well, but I know enough about Morrowind to give myself a fighting chance. Let's recap. Three hours in Sedanine and the surrounding swamps. Once time's up, no more preparation, training, loot, you got it. Attempt to defeat Two-Face in combat and then deliver the ring to its fiery end. Make sense? Good. Roll it. Nakuma, welcome back to the channel. It's been a good two years. I'm going with a Dark Elf for my build because Morrowind, more specifically the looks like my grade school gym teacher preset. I spent way too long on my class build, and as we'll learn as we go along, I made some really stupid choices. Most notably, and this one was not a mistake, I'm starting with an agility of 70, and to keep it simple, this makes me get hit less while I can successfully hit more. Looting up the initial free money room, grabbing the ring from the barrel, and my three hour countdown starts now. And got in my way. Ah, Fargoth. Wonderful. Perfect. Ring. Uh, yes. Here. I found it. Take it. Fargoth takes the ring. That should raise our disposition with the trader Ariel. Recover some gold. Okay, now we can do Fargoth's hiding place. There's that little fucker. He's putting his stuff away in the log. And we got the ring back. Okay, Ring is back in our possession. A few minutes in and our first quest is complete. For the uninitiated, on a standard Morrowind playthrough, you can still make quite a bit of gold before you head out of this town. To start this run, I wanted to focus on easy quests, easy money, get a little nest egg so that the only trader in town could essentially start working for me. He's a real one. Now we want to real quick do the tax collector quest. There we go. Got our gold. We are all the way up to 914 gold already. Something's like Something's making like noises. Oh God, ah! You wanna level up in Morrowind quickly. You need to jump. You need to run. Ah! Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is good. This is good acrobatics XP. This is how you do it. Right there. Boom. Acrobatics up one. My first skill increase. <laughs> this is what training looks like. Ooh. Okay, okay. Too close. Way too close. We're almost dead. Come on. There you go. What a dodge. He hit the pillar. Hit the pillar. Nice. Oh, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Run out of, please, please run out of magic. He'll run out of magic. There we go. Come on, one hit. I just need one hit. No, oh, ah, I just needed one. <sighs> nice try, stay right there. Stay right there. Just keep shooting your fireballs right at the top of the step. Come on. Come on, Nakuma. There we go. I've got a really big problem. Sure, I made some gold, we got some quests, I killed a bandit, but one sixth of my time is gone and I've barely leveled up any skills. The skills most pertinent to my build, light armor and short blade. 
I made them minor skills thinking, oh, if they're lower level, then I can level up more and faster. In doing so, all I did was just give myself worse stats. I also entirely over leveraged myself into pointless skills given how short on time and effective tools I am. Alchemy being the worst offender that I burned a ton of time early on collecting ingredients for. Restoration? At level 15? It's basically useless. Desperation sat in. If I even want a chance at taking out Vivek, poking the occasional mud crab or rat won't cut it. I need to start making more calculated plays. Strategy number one. Weak weapon, more XP. What's the worst dagger? Chitin dagger? Probably. I hope this won't take long. Uh, I hope so as well. All right, I've never seen you before. What do you want? XP. <laughs> oh no. Wait. Oh god. <laughs> Joke's on you, Helvia. No! He should have. Lower damage of our dagger means we'll land more hits per kill, which in turn yields more XP over time. With our offensive grinding figured out, we can look towards other things. Strategy number two, maxing. Okay, hold on, we can power level acrobatics here. By repeatedly slamming my ankles into the ground, I can level up quickly given acrobatics is a major skill. But I have a much better idea for overdosing on skill increased dopamine. Earlier I mentioned light armor being our defensive skill. Take note, this is important. One problem. The trader doesn't have Greaves, the last piece we need to complete our light armor set. However, this lady does have them. One more problem. Murder is illegal, unless it's indoors. I don't make the laws, I just attempt to follow them. We'll need to ensure she goes down before the guards show up, take our sentence in stride, then hope she's lootable afterwards. This is Sujama. Again, take note, this is important. Morrowind fans know, but if you're not familiar, Sujama grants you drunk uncle strength, but it stacks meaning it can grant you the strength of 10, 20, hell, 1,000 uncles can be inside of you if you wish. Money isn't an issue, so we load up on party favors and pray the damage is strong enough to take Laurel out before guards arrive. Murder is cool, as long as it furthers my goals. Right here, slam all of this booze. Yeah, look at my strength. Strength at 123. This is the end of you, sweet. No way. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose. Stop. Miss. Miss. Please, miss. Keep miss. No. 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 We had it. We had it. We, we, it was one hit and we had it. Unbelievable. I'm never gonna kill Vivek. Oh, this is bad. Easy. Easy. Murder is cool. Murder is fun. Did I even get... Did I get away with it? Guards? Maybe people didn't like her. Things started out rough, but the gestation period of my plan is over. It's time to begin something I call turbo maxing. I loaded up on healing potions, attracted several enemies at once, gathered them all around me at the same time, and... This is what I did. For the remaining 80 or so minutes, thrilling, I know, non-stop, constant, over and over. I'm training light armor, which will yield better defense and bonus agility when I level up. I'm jumping constantly, draining my stamina, which makes me easier to hit, training acrobatics as well, which gives a small strength bonus when I level up, and the money that's easy to generate in town from its generous civilians. By the gods, you tourists are a nuisance. Come on, fight! Say it again. Say it again. What about tourists? Uh, last I checked, I'm a native. Ow! <laughs> hey, you look like a Darlene. I'm the only local in this house. Come on, 
Bring it on, colonizer! Provides me healing potions so I can turbo max without needing to take breaks. It wasn't exactly fun, per se. The real fun came from addressing the shortfalls in my build and doing what I could to maximize the stats I got off the boat with, quickly realizing things weren't working and adjusting to squeeze as much as possible out of the limited time I had left. In truth, I think the only skills I correctly placed were athletics and armorer. It was convenient repairing my own things, but everything else I kinda screwed up. I turbo max continuously. Smashing the E key over and over and over. I took things all the way down to the wire, and with about 15 minutes to go... Not gonna lie, given that I wasted the first hour and hamstrung myself with bad skill choices, I'm pretty satisfied to have made some progress. But will it be enough to take out Two-Face? I loaded up on potions, booze, took note of the dark elf powers I was born with. I approached his lair. Confidence surged through me. <laughs> the confidence of several generations of slain rats and crabs coursed through my veins. I will defeat this thing. Wait, am I blind? Oh, I can't see. <laughs> wait, wait, how long does that last? Oh no, I didn't know Sujama did that. I'm actually just blacked out the whole time. Ah! I'm back. I'm back. We were only blind for a second there. <laughs> we were only blind for a second there. Here we go. Dodge. I can dodge it. We got to use the pillars. Ah, he got me. Okay, he got me. He Weapon has no effect. Then it sank in. My best weapon is useless. I had limited options to begin with, but this? I still kind of have a fighting chance. Oh no, do I really have to use the silver dagger? This is all I can use. A, a poking stick. We know Vivek seems to have issues casting his spells. If I can just get him to run out of magic, then maybe, maybe I have a shot. God, he's impossible to hit. No. Okay, he got me there. How in the... What, what, what is he doing? Oh God, he's punching! Now's our opportunity. We got some hits. He's mortal. I knew it, this fucker's mortal. The Sujama's gonna wear off though. I only have 30 seconds with it. There's a chance. There's there's a chance. Okay, now he's going for hand to hand. Can he get up here? <gasps> now we quick save. You're fucked, Vivek. <laughs> You're fucked, buddy. Oh man, we did good damage. Come on, we did something. The Sujama's already. <gasps> Wait a minute. We might be able to do something. We're gonna reload that quick save. Ancestral Guardian. Ancestral Guardian now distracts him. He's not gonna look at us. He's not gonna be able to hit us. We go Sujama. Give it a second here. He's gonna punch that ghost. Dodge him. Fatigue. No. Oh, the ghost died. We got him to half health. Honestly, that feels like a win. It feels like such a win getting him to half health. Considering where we started and the adjustments we made on the fly, I'm biased but inclined to agree with myself. This was the closest I got to taking him out, sadly. What I should have done was invested in Blunt and just smacked him with a giant hammer or battle axe. I could have even ditched the healing potions for more Sujama, but I settled with 30. 30 seconds with boosted strength and a terrible dagger just wasn't enough. That's okay. I can take a loss. I'm, I am a good sport. I am not totally upset by you stupid two-toned son of a bitch. My main goal anyway was to carry the one true ring to Red Mountain. I can take solace in at least completing one objective, but we'll come back to this later because this is where the real game begins. It's, oh my God, please be quick. Please be, I'm hoping it's quick. It should be. <laughs> Thank you.
This is Family Reunion. We're back to Skyrim. Who'd have thought? What a plot twist on this channel playing Skyrim. Written by Remy Uwu. I think, unless it's Remy Uwu. Tom, a guard of Markarth, hasn't seen his brother, Jerry, the gate guard in Riften in years. Reuniting them would be their dream. They also said that I could change their names. I am not a name maker. Tom and Jerry are two brilliant names. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm really bad at coming up with names too. The rules are simple. Initiate a chase with a guard in Markarth, also known as Tom. Have Tom follow us another escort quest. I know there's a lot of escort quests in this one. Have Tom follow us all the way to Riften from Markarth to reunite with his brother, Jerry. If I die or if Tom dies, we have to completely restart and we have three tries to do so. That is not fair. Shouldn't be too bad. I think we can do this on the first try. Stop. Unfucking believable. I hope. I hope. Please. Please. John Skyrim, if you can hear me out there. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Doesn't count. 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 Let's make this one easy. For me. Kenareth, if you're out there, I need to stop praying though to the Skyrim gods because they never. They never help me out. Well, let's be real. They never throw me a bone. I only get boned. Aw, oh, you gotta be kidding me. My game crashed. <laughs> fuck the nine. More importantly, fuck Tom. Who's Tom? This fucking ass. Because he cares more about ruining my day than he does about reuniting with his brother. Jerry misses you, Tom. It's Christmas, Tom. Jerry's crying now because you don't love him, Tom. He's also insistent on using his goddamn bow and arrow, always stifling any progress we make. I fucking hate you, Tom. Yeah, that works. That really works well. I really don't like this guy. Dude. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. <laughs> I've had enough of you. I got him. The arrows are gone. Come on, let's go, Tom. You and me till the end, brother. We're gonna run into some real issues here, though, because we're certainly gonna come across another guard in the road. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, no. Really? The cat version of Mike Tyson wants to just enlist in law enforcement? Stop. Look, Tom, maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I just want you and your brother to be happy. We can make a good team. Just let me sift through your pockets, make sure nothing in here is going to poke me, right? Mother fucker. Now a quick save. Okay, we got somebody up here. Okay, it's just an orc. Oh, let's not get hit. It's so hard to get off an attack and then hit, unless we go fury. And then the guard and uh, Tom, Tom, you're good. You're good, Tom. You got enough. Honestly, it feels good just to watch Tom do what he loves. Oh, shit. I, I forgot he's still gonna try and kill me. Nice work, folks. Proud of everyone involved. All right, we're finally moving. It only took us a half hour, but we're making progress. Look at us go, Tom. Look at you and me, covered in blood. The blood of our enemies. But who is this? You have to stop with this. Another orc. She's going after Tom. I can't let that happen. It feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel good to team up, Tom? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no, it doesn't. Perfect speed. If we just stay at this pace, no, it's enough with the backing up bullshit. You're not getting your bow. His AI is trying to tell him to pull out his bow, but he can't. There he goes again. Yeah. Or he's trying to like lull me into getting power attacked. Enough, enough. With he actually did it. He did exactly what I described he was doing. <laughs> and He nailed me back off. At least let me heal. Can we make this an even fight? So he does that move. He slows down and he wants me. He wants to catch my momentum coming this way. Then he pushes up. No, no, no. Don't don't tell me all the Imperial Guards here. They all they all go hostile. OK, beautiful. Nice. Oh, no. 
I'm toast. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm literally fucking dead. I'm literally so fucking dead. There's an arrow through my jugular. Tom's on the other side of this rock. What is killing me? Are you f- oh. oh! A slaughterfish! Who has ever been killed by a slaughterfish in this game? I did not have a free level up! No, I didn't! I have to sleep! Those are the rules! They don't ever change! Except for when we do something stupid like this! I fucking hate this game! Why do I play this game? <laughs> I fucking hate this game! Fuck you, Tom! Fuck you! Look at him! All the way over there! Let's go. Now, we need to avoid the Imperial Guards. In order to do so... Wait. I know you. Do you? Do you know me, Tom? Are you, are you familiar with me? We make a great team, don't we, Tom? Thank me later. Yeah, definitely have Imperial Guards up the road. So, safest way around them... Honestly, no idea. Wolf down. <gasps> They're fighting each other! Get him, Tom! <laughs> Tom, you've officially joined the right side of history. Hell yeah! Atta boy. Nice kill, let's move. This is not the way we need to go. Reverse, reverse! What are you getting in the river for? Don't daintily float away from me! It feels like you're making fun of me. Time out. There's a whole entire group of Imperial Guards up the road. They're fighting someone. I'm out of arrows. I'm out of ammo. Where's Tom? Oh, one of them? Not now, Tom. Tom, really bad timing. Okay, let's go the other way. Ooh, okay. Imperial Guard's right around the corner. Nice shot, idiot. That should hit. Nice, they got one. Stupid ass wolf. Come on, Tom, let's go this way. It's safer up here. <gasps> Brilliant. It's a wide open field. Come on, Tom. We can get around the guards this way. There you go, Tom. Let's go. We're making moves now. Oh, hey, you can. Okay, you're a little close for comfort. I don't like you that much. I'm glad that you're here, but we're not friends. Come on, Tom. But you don't want to make a little hop down here? Look, Tom, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried my best. I know you got hurt. You were forced to fight a mud crab all on your own. I get that. But don't let this drive a wedge between us. Think about your brother, Jerry. Come on, he's resorted to shaking down strangers that walk into his city. What are you doing? I'm putting my foot down. I'm not moving until Tom moves. I'll wait here all night. Go on, not even looking. Stab me right between my shoulders. And so we waited. Tom, look, the game is giving me cinematic camera. Just hurry up and get this over with. Let's move. Oh, God. Tom might have found out my weakness. I have to sleep and I have to eat on survival mode. <laughs> Wait, no. Tom's winning the war of attrition. It wasn't all so bad, though. I could feel my hatred of this guy slipping away. There's something charming about a stubborn NPC. What do you think Tom is thinking about? Clearly not his brother, Jerry. I waited, and I waited, and I waited. Almost grew to respect Tom, his dedication. If all of us were one-tenth as dedicated as he is, where would we be as a society? You know what, Tom? I see more of myself in you than I'd like to admit, and maybe that's why I've had trouble accepting you. I'm sorry, Tom. I accept you. I can't believe I'm letting him win it, but it's time to get moving again. Tom? Ah! Fucking asshole, man! What the fuck, Tom? I thought we were fucking cool! Ow! Jesus!
Jesus! <laughs> Why did he have to do that? Stand still. Uh, how did I let that one sneak through? Don't know what that NPC wants. What do you want? Can't you just let two dudes settle their differences? Ice Wolf. Jesus Christ, Tom. Tom, we can do this together, but I need your help. Ow. Fuck yeah, Tom, that's what I'm talking about. That's my teammate. Ah, yep. Yeah. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't slice me. Okay, this is such a dumb idea. Why did I come this route? Tom, get away from me. I, I saw the power attack coming. I can sense you. I can smell your moves, Tom. Let's take Helgen. That's got to be the best route for us. Limited guards. Whoa! Watch out, Frodnar. Oh, <laughs> he, just, he just hit him. You're mad at me? Wait, why are you mad at me? He's the one who attacked your son. Hold on, Stormcloak camp up ahead. So is Markarth Empire or is it, is it Stormcloaks? Markarth is Empire? We're heading deep into Stormcloak territory, Tom. No, they are shooting at Tom, run Tom! Tom, go! Don't attack me, Tom, just keep moving. Ah, okay, that's all right, you know what? Get your licks in on me, take it out on me. No, Tom, no, don't do it. Ah, uh, it's an afflicted refugee. Tom, I'll eat the vomit. God, we make such a good team. That was sick. Whatever it is you have. Uh, is, this, is this a joke? Is this a joke? Oh my God. Does it always have to just go in horizontally through the side of my cranium? Oh God, the whole encounter is still here. It's gonna be here every time. It's like a dance. I know the right moves. Spider. Why would you attack me? Don't attack Tom. Don't attack Tom. Fuck off. Let's go, Tom. You and me, baby. Come on. We got a chance. We have a chance. We're alive. Tom, 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 don't do it. Oh, Tom, you're an idiot. Keep him stunned, keep him stunned. Oh. My order the yarn. Stop right there. Tom, 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 you're gonna get yourself killed. I got you. Tom, are you okay? It's okay, I'm here, buddy. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. You okay? Okay, god damn it, Tom. I thought we had a moment. I thought I thought for a second we had a moment there, but no, apparently not. Nice hit, Tom! Somehow that worked. Oh, we got him again! No, 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 don't kill him, don't kill him. Oh man, I let myself die. Nice, nice, good combo. I don't care that you hit me. Let's go! God, let's go, Tom! You and me! To the end! Stay off of Tom! You mangy mutts! Stop shooting at him! Stop! Mr. President, get down! Let's go! Tom! Okay, Tom, put the arrows away. Tom, put the arrows away. That was amazing. Tom, that was like really, really cool. That was the tightest, coolest fucking shit we've ever done. Put the arrows away, please. Oh my God, I can see the city. I can see it. It's so close. Guards are on him. Oh, there's just no way I get him through this. 
please get in the water and swim. Please swim. Tom, swim, please. Please swim. Please swim. Come on, let's swim. Look at me go. Look at me go. Get in the water. Get in the water. I sound like a suburban mom trying to get her, like, kid who's too scared to get in the fucking pool, Samson. We've got rocks for cover. They stopped giving chase. Just come on. You can do it. Get down off the ledge. You got this. You got this, Tommy. Fuck yeah, he jumped. That's what I'm talking about. You exist somewhere deep in that thick metal helmet beyond the six inches of skull you have exists a man. A man with thoughts and feelings, emotions. I forgot to mention, although it may have been obvious, Tom is with the Empire and Jerry, being in Riften, is with the Stormcloaks. So unfortunately, there's only one way this brotherly relationship comes to a close. Kill him! Tom! Mm, Tom killed you! Lay off. We have to get up there and tank as fast as we can. Why? Why? What is this bullshit? Stop killing. <laughs> Damn it. No! You are the worst brother ever, you know that? You don't deserve Tom. You don't deserve Tom! Tom is my brother! No, no, back off! Get him, Tom. Get him, Tom. This is your kill, not mine. Come on, Tom. Please just hit him. What are you swinging at? <laughs> this is so bad. Tom, don't do anything stupid here. There you go. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! Tom! Wait. I know you. Criminal Scum. I couldn't come up with a creative title for this one. I tried my best to come up with a creative title. It just didn't, it did not come to fruition. Author of this quest is Dead Boyo 2773. So thank you to Dead Boyo for your suggestion. I told you our humble skooma delivery agent from earlier had an origin story, didn't I? It seemed like the writer's room really ran out of ideas when they were coming up with this. You were raised to always disregard the law as your dad's Kolovian cone hat was stolen and the guards did nothing about it. So, uh, dead boyo, uh, maybe we could flesh out this story a little bit more next time, but overall, I liked the idea, and the rules are simple. Join the Thieves Guild, at which point I have three hours to steal and fence 500 gold worth of goods from every major settlement in the game. If I'm caught before I can finish a town, I have to restart that town from zero. This is Chester's origin story, so we start at the origin. And for no reason whatsoever, I set this to the max difficulty. Why do the Khajiit have hair? It's a mane? This is not a mane. This is human hair on a, on a cat person. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Two rats, two rats, <laughs> fall back. We need to reposition. How much damage are they gonna do? Oh my, okay, that's way too much. Uh, uh, uh. See, this is the thing about Oblivion. Ah, uh, uh, see, I'm already going down. Now, <gasps> whoa. <laughs> go, 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 no! No, I can't! No, don't attack me! 
It's that quick. <laughs> I'm useless. Wait here with the emperor. Guard him with your life. For the Die, emperor. Scum. Uh, do I actually have to fight somebody in here? I don't think I do. I'd rather not. Ah! Oh. oh fuck! <laughs> God! Oh, that was so close. Don't worry, emperor. Okay, okay, I can't fight you. No. We're out. We made it. Not a single kill. Uh, do I have to go to jail first? Hey. Break the law on my watch, will you? Okay, now getting out of here. If we get out of jail, this should be the biggest jump scare ever in Oblivion. Take this. See? It's, from <laughs> it's a terrifying. Friend. Okay, finding the Thieves Guild, I was given a mysterious note by a mysterious Dark Elf. It was incredibly mysterious and offers greater mysterious wealth and less mysterious jail time. Maybe I should check it out. I have to wait until midnight and then go to the mysterious garden of Daryloth. Yeah, well, hey, where are you going? Where are you running? Such, such violence. <laughs> I've seen that before. Wait, hold on. That was one of my comp. <laughs> one of my competitors went down. Do I know you? Yeah, we just got involved in all that nonsense. Did you not see it? Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves Guild. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this a contest. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited into Without the killing him. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise. This is going to be easy. Does anybody know where he's at? I don't like this. This is already sucks. There she is. She's off. She's she's figured out the location. This is like copying off of a classmate's homework, but then getting a better grade than them. She found the house. Fuck off, Beth Riddell. It's mine. I don't know where it is, though. It's right here. It's in here. Got it. <laughs> Thief. You stole that diary from me. Hmm, cry me a river. I'm just better than you. Congratulations. You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves Guild. You should yell this louder. Three hours starts now. Uh, well, first order of business. <laughs> You're not in the Thieves Guild. Uh, it sucks to be a math or drill. Uh, divine elegance might not be too bad. I think I'm going to hit divine elegance first. Oh, this stuff isn't valuable at all. It's also a lot heavier than I thought it would be. Some jewelry. Nice. Note. Note. Handbill. Oh, this is terrible. Let's try Gilded Carafe. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. Sure, take it. Take that. You gotta be fast. You gotta be lightning quick with it. Otherwise, the guards, I swear, they just spawn directly on top of you. What are you looking at? So we have... This is worth 50, 25. Oh, yeah. Potions are for sure the way to go. Ongar. Where's Ongar's house? Ongar. Get up. Buy my goods. I see you are with the Gray Fox. Do you need a fence? Wonderful. All right, perfect. That's a Wait. fair deal. Hold on, we need to haggle. See if we can get better prices. Okay, my problem so far, I'm not operating as an efficient thief. I have to actually case the joint. Let's case the let's case the Mystic Emporium real quick. Soul gems on the counter. Oh yeah. This is the place we gotta hit tonight. I need to be careful. It's almost time for the shops to open up. That's it. That's all. Boom. That quickly. Lightning quick. You can't stop this thief. I'm really tired. Can we get on with this? 524. Okay, we blew past our goal. Imperial City is done. I would think that the Mage's Guild is a really good one for us to do. Mage's Guild has... Morning. Right here. I'm going for it. Oh, oh no, please tell me that was enough to just clear out Bruma. I'm really tired. He didn't even get to go back to sleep, and I'm already back just shoveling more stuff into his gullet. We need about 225, so that only got us about halfway there. This, this, oh, <laughs> she just showed up to work like, huh? Where'd all of it go? Alembic, retort, calcinator. Order and pestle. I think we should be okay. This should be enough to get us out of Bruma. 
Oh no, I need another hundred. I'm still short. 35 more gold. Oh, that's it. I just cannot get caught. If I get caught on the last 35, it's not good. Not a single mistake lock picking, by the way. Okay, quickly. That should be enough. I'm really tired. Dude, all you do is sleep. How are you still tired? Let's go Chaden Hall next. I don't know if you can see that, but we're at 1,338 gold. That means we have to be at 1,838 gold by the time we're done fencing from Chaden Hall. I think we should just hit Mage's Guild again. This Mage's Guild looks a lot tougher. Way more eyeballs, way more people. Oh, there's some good stuff here though. How risky do I want to get with this? I want to go through the challenge flawlessly. Oh my God, okay. We got to take some risks, right? No. Keep your fingers to yourself, thief. No, 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 not this early. Don't make me fail this quickly. Wait, I don't think I got a bounty. Stop, no, 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 why? I did not, we gotta go. I'm not getting caught. Oh, he's catching up to me, they're so fast. I think the guard that was at this gate is the one that's following us. How, how close are they? All right, honestly, I can't even tell. I don't want to look behind me. Run, run, don't stop running. Are they still following? You cannot wait while guards are coming. Oh, God dang it. It was one misclick. I thought I was trying to steal the item on the shelf, not pickpocket somebody. Wait a minute. I can salvage this. I have to run all the way to the Imperial waterfront. I have to find Armand, pay off my bounty through Armand, and then I'm good. I was not caught. I was ratted on. They think it was me. I matched the description reports out there. There are misleading reports that are defaming my character. And I'm going to Armand to make sure that those reports are cleared up. Oh, this is so st- oh, oh, Okay, it's just a dog. It's just a dog. We're <laughs> I hate this. It's 5.38 PM. What time does Armand go out there? Okay, so I have to waste like seven hours in game. All right, I'm gonna stand right here. We're just gonna watch the sunset. All right, I have to check what time it is in game. Nine, it's, oh my God, it's only 9 p.m. Can I wait? You cannot wait, well guards, okay. Well, maybe these guards should hurry up. Uh-oh, why did it do that? I don't like this. I don't like having control of my character again. The stars of the tower shine upon you. You gain the warden key and master's hand greater powers. Stop! Ah! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. This son of a bitch chased us all the way from Chaden Hall. I'm uh, genuinely, I am so upset that that didn't work. <sighs> Crap. Good morning. Don't look at me. Is it worth it? Oh, stop being vigilant and stop with your freaking smiling. Stop smiling at me. We can't pick them up in oblivion. It's not like Skyrim, but we can. That kind of worked. Now, if I sit down in this chair, I bet we can get this potion to rifle around the room. No, no, never mind. The potion just went up my ass. <laughs> Ooh, in the display case, two gems, two ebony items. That's got to be really worthwhile. Oh, it's an ebony replica dagger. Oh, no. I'm really tired. Same. Ooh, me likey. Each one's valued at approximately half. Fine, steel mice, that's 40 right there. Go to bed. Go to bed. Why must you be like this? <laughs> He's the only one who's put up a stark defense against thievery. <gasps> Skooma. Finally, Skooma. Three of them. Huge find. Wine has a pretty good value for the weight. Iron battle axe, iron boots, that's it. I'm really tired. It's a real race against the clock now. We need to pick it up. I don't even know how much I'm getting. That's it. We're done. Yeah, we're more than good here. Any of the magical places are always the ones that we want to go for. Major's Guild is going to be in serious trouble once I'm done with them. Still not seen yet. Shh, shh, don't, don't turn around. Stay right there. Keep inspecting. Yes, keep doing your idle animation. Holy fuck. This entire thing is terrifying. I still need another 200 or so. All right, we can take all the silverware from the castle. That should be a bit easier. 
No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Stop, stop. Okay, for some reason, I think I'm, I'm gonna get caught if I sit down. You got some hot property. I got the hottest property. Oh, it's so hot. This property is so fucking sexy. It's so hot. Reveal is officially done. I don't care if it's repetitive. I'm gonna rob the Mages Guild every single time because I will beat this challenge. Why don't you do a fun strategy? Because I wanna win. <gasps> grand, grand. Another, gr we're done. That's it, I'm out. Later, see ya nerds. Coral, get off the map. Hell, I'm really tired. Nah, well, hold on. You were really excited when greeting me. Easy, done. I have an idea. Stay focused. I'm gonna take this. I think we should have enough from that. Okay, we got it. Is it lame that I'm just going right for the Mage's Guild again? Perhaps. Damn, they're all right in the way. Why do they all have to be posted up in the perfect position? Let me rob you. Careful. Maybe it makes more sense that he says he's tired when I get here, because I usually get here right around when he has to go to sleepy time. You got some hot property. Done. Incredibly underwhelming finish, but we did it. We kicked its ass, we ripped its head off, we only failed one time. That was damn near a flawless run. I can't make that deal. Okay, well, you know, okay, well. You dare? I have attacked another member of the Thieves Guild. <laughs> Unless I pay the fine, I am sure to be cast out of the guild. What? It was a simple. Stop! Uh, why is that illegal? He's the Thieves Guild fence. He's the one breaking the law. I'm doing you a favor. Then pay with your blood. I can take you on. Uh, uh. I came up with this name and I'm proud of it. Thank you to Alltel3369 for writing this one in. Morrowind has a ton of factions, like a lot. This quest focuses on just three, House Lalu, House Redoran, and House Telvanni. We're going to take our character from earlier who failed in defeating Vivek and attempt to assassinate the leader of these three factions with a fork. I also didn't finish my ring delivery earlier and because I like threes as much as any college virgin, three hours on the clock to deliver the ring, acquire the fork of Harepilation, and kill as many of my three obscenely overpowered targets as I can. I hope you paid attention earlier because the strategies that our character employed earlier will pretty much be our go-to here. Step one, deliver the ring. Thankfully, the, hork, uh, the fork of Haripolation is gonna land in the short blade criteria, which is what we've mostly trained in. I have a ton of Sujama in my inventory. We can probably use that for our high value targets. Now, to be honest with you all, nothing really interesting happened between here and dropping off the ring. I did steal a super valuable dagger, accidentally got the death penalty, and stumbled a few times trying to commit grand larceny. But this journey was just more of the same grind from earlier. Somehow, even more monotonous. This is gonna be incredibly underwhelming. Ring, I place you in the depths of the Red Mountain Lava Pit. Okay, that was fun. Quest complete. Step two, acquire murder tool. The fork of her revelation is all the way up here in this little itty bitty shack. It's a bit of a haul for us, but I've been pocketing three scrolls of a carrion flight ever since the beginning. If you're not sure what these are, click off this video, play Morrowind for all of 30 minutes, then report back to me. Buckmyth Legion 4. You know what? Let's try to go to Balmora. Close enough. We're at Caldera. <laughs> oh no, God! I did not mean to jump a third time. <laughs> Fuck. No. Water? Is there water anywhere nearby? Some preliminary inventory management and fast travel later, I found myself at Geonosis, due west of the shack. Need to start picking up the pace though, because I've already burned my first hour. Another fairly uneventful run, and I'm just south of our goal. This area of the map is oddly terrifying. Not even oddly, it's just terrifying. Ah shit, what is that? It's huge. It's massive. What is that? Just avoid. Avoid the aggro. Looks like we've carved out a safe little highway. Oh, there's a drag. I got this. Stay focused. 
in armor. Michael Phelps could not do this in a full set of armor. <gasps> Shit, there's a fish right in front of me. Avoid, avoid. There's also one in there. Stay away from me. I hate this. Nice and slow. Made it out in one piece, and there's the McMansion I've been looking for. Some brief diplomatic negotiations, and I finally have the murder tool of my dreams. My culinary cutlery. My aid of assassination. This thing's stats are, if I'm being as charitable as possible, complete fucking garbage. But what did we learn earlier about the power of Uncle Jason? That's right! To hell with your stats and armor, and highly mobile, dangerous bodyguards. I have the power of... Just under 90 minutes to go, I need to do what I can to load up on as much healing, strength buffs, whatever I can, because I did zero research beforehand and have no idea what I'm walking into. 11 Sujama. Standard fatigue, standard health. Oh, the leader's gotta be somewhere in here. All right, target is somewhere in here. Okay, there are a lot of armed guards in here. That's gotta be him. Oh, I am screwed. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Oh, there's no way. There he is. Okay, this is the target with a lot of people to defend him. At least Vivek was so low. Okay, we'll get all the way up to 500 strength. We'll see how this goes with 500 strength. Five seconds and then my eyesight comes back. I can't. Absolutely embarrassing. <laughs> That's why we call these experiments not challenges. Okay, all 31 Sujama goes down. 678 strength. I might need more Sujama. Take your armor off and fight me like an actual warrior. I, I, I don't stand a chance. So new plan, new plan. I'm going to slightly annoy him and run. Dodge their attacks. Healing spell. Go. Ow. Okay, only one of them hit me. <laughs> okay. Bail, bail, bail. He's way too powerful. I don't know if it's possible. I only have 328 gold right now. Can I take enough Sujama to one hit him? How can I make that money? I need to make money. No, I don't think so. Uh, no, I do think so. My arbitrarianism far outweighs your freedom. I don't want to do this. I'm going to kill Revere. I have to go with immediate profit. Demon Katana. Ha <laughs> ha 2,200, 1,250, 3,250. Oh, I cannot believe it worked. We hit the jackpot. Okay, I am definitely back in this thing. If I can kill just one target, I'll be happy. And depending on how much time I have left, who knows? Maybe I can come back and win the whole dang thing. Loading back up on chems is a big time waster, though I'm really short on time. But with all my cash, I made sure to stock up enough. So much, in fact, I had to use some of it in order to even have enough strength to carry it. I literally have to drink booze to move. I hope if this is not enough Sujama, I've spent like five grand on Sujama. I'm ready to have my heart broken, chat. I don't care. We go down together. What? Uh, what? Oh God, I forgot I already attacked him. Okay, all right, uh, this just made the whole thing even worse. Fuck, I forgot we did that. I forgot we did that earlier. They're all gonna hate me in there. I'm gonna have no clue where he's at. They're gonna have magical abilities. I'm going for it. There he is. There's our target. One hit's okay. All right, that's gonna cause me to be blind for five seconds. I have to survive until then. We just have to move. I'm gonna take a lot, I'm taking a lot of damage already. We gotta kill a few seconds. There we go, we got our sight back. Fork is out. Oh man, I can't do any damage to him still. <laughs> I mean, I can do some. 
He's down. Stop, he's at half health. No, no, no. I have an idea. Okay, we're gonna go in there. Nobody else in here is attacking us, just these two guards. We need them to have awkward pathing. There we go. Okay, now we've isolated the two guards on the other side of the table. Ancestral Guardian. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, they're on the other side of the table there. Ah, uh, can I can, can I hold them off for five seconds? I died. Ah! There we go, back on the table. Stay alive. Need him to go down. We have the two guards on the other side of the table. He went down. He just went down now. Fuck, I have no healing potions. No! No! He's down again! No! Oh my god, we're so close! We're so close! I can do this. We can absolutely do this. No, please go down. No, you son of a... Fuck you! Go down! Go down! Please, do not kill me. Please, 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 I'm begging you. I am begging you. Please don't kill me. Target down. Target down. With this character's death, the thread of prophecy is severed. Restore a saved game to restore the weave of fate or persist in the doomed world you have created. Fuck you, Morrowind. I am better than you. One target down. Unfortunately, that's where the winning ends. I've no need to further explain the strategy I tried to employ on the other targets. I think you get it by now. I got lost looking for both, the timer ran down, and the second target I had a shot at, they didn't have furniture as exploitable as our first target. It was They had like a private entourage that makes the Secret Service look barely functional. While I couldn't take out any other targets, I'm more than happy enough to lay down this fork with one kill under its belt. Besides, forks are kind of someone else's thing. I don't know how to segue into the last quest. Actually, no, wait. I think that works. I came up with this title. It's not as creative as Assassin's Speed, but I still think that this one is okay. Chaos Mage is what we're calling it. This takes place in Skyrim and it was written by Gifts underscore for the peasantry. So the rules for this one, we have to randomly select a Skyrim location via our chaos wheel. After we have the location that we're gonna have to clear out, we will randomly select one of the schools of magic in Skyrim. We have to clear five locations to win. I get one respin and we have three hours to do so. Make Spock. Fine, fine, fine. We'll play Spock. Oh no, I am a Breton. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. That's not too bad. <laughs> hey, that's not too bad. Spock. First dungeon. Greywater Grotto? I feel like that's good. Ah, uh, really? How the fuck am I gonna do it with illusion? We can do this. I'm a short run away from white run. Go. Wait, hold on, there's loot right behind me. Uh, maybe we should do a little bit of hunting. I gotta make whatever money I can. I can use the other spells outside of the cave, but once I'm in that cave, I have to use illusion. Naked mage, kicking some ass. Another skill book, strong box, give me some gems there. That's what I'm talking about. Gorehound? Does that mean you're gonna turn into a dog or s- Ooh, you're really fast! What the hell? Guards! There should be a shortcut to get up and have the guards help us. I'm getting out of here. What do you mean you're getting out of here? It's your job to fight bandits! I don't know if I can get them in through this little path. Oh, wait! Oh, one of them just got shot! The Period. finest weapons in armor. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Illusion. Uh, we can do Calm. That's not gonna get us any kills. Frenzy. Living targets up to level five, not good enough. Fury, living targets up to level 10. Fury is a little bit better. Muffle is good for training illusion. Oh gosh, we really have to rely on Fury and pray that it works. Ah, screw it. I gotta do something. Can I even cast it? Oh my gosh, I can't even cast it. Oh no, I can't afford to cast it. 
52 gold left over. Muffle learned. Let's get that bad boy favorited. I still can't afford to cast it. Muffle is more expensive? This is a problem. I need XP and I need it now. We just have to steal as much sneak XP as we can get. This is the second time in this challenge we've ended up in the guard barracks. Wait a minute. With my perk overhaul, it's just a blanket decrease to the cost of the spell. It's not vanilla rules. Can I use Muffle? Oh, come on! I'm gonna do everything I can, believers. It's probably not gonna work. I'm probably gonna get my ass kicked when I first step into this cave, but I'm getting there as fast as I can. Come here, horsey! No ice rays. There cannot be a single one in here. Greywater Grotto. All right, we're here. There's a wolf over there. Okay, I'm definitely gonna be able to fury the wolf. Let's just sneak past him for now. Four minutes. Ow, what the f Oh god, that was quick. I wasn't looking. Oh, this is bad. Is it just wolves? Ow, it's only wolves. We can clear this out. I gotta get my Magicka back though. What do you have on you? Please tell me you have a magic potion. No, but they have armor. They're fighting, they're fighting. Okay, one wolf down. I don't have enough time to get my magic back. Uh, this is bad, come on. Piss off. Does that count as me not using illusion? Two wolves are dead. Three wolves left. Wolf right here. Gotta hit this. Got him. Another wolf frenzied. Come on, go back, go back and fight your family. Kill each other. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, the frenzied one died. Before 35 minutes, I can potentially try to get one of them to die of falling damage. Go fight your friend. One left. He's got like no health. Can we get him to follow us and jump off this edge? Will he take falling damage from this height? Jump, 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 jump. Come on, jump. You have 60 seconds. Please just jump off the ledge. Do it. You have 50 seconds. Please jump. Oh, it didn't kill him. The haters were about to be in shambles. Ah, oh, this is a far enough. Oh God. Jump, jump. Come on, I know you want to jump. No, no, his brain is working properly. So I need the wolf to attack me going the direction of the river. That way I can probably or hopefully coax him into the jumping forward animation like that and dodge him and dodge him. Go, get off, get off the ledge. You stupid mutt. Fall, fall, fall. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Woo. It's cleared. The game has ruled it as cleared. Oh, shit. I used restoration. <laughs> I used restoration the whole time. Trader's post? What is this? Dainty slowed? It's a it's a boat. It's a clearable boat. So it's gonna be really cold. That's probably the biggest negative. Don't give me illusion again. Don't give me restoration. No, it's actually gonna be illusion again. I hate this game. <laughs> You bah. Okay, I won't use restoration this time. Dainty slowed, here we are. Two-handed weapon. That's what I'm talking about. Now, while she's distracted and hopefully preoccupied, can we bring her inside? No, she won't follow us inside. That's not a terrible thing. Let's loot whatever we can while we're in here. I'm gonna have to buy some new spells soon. Come on, you have the curved sword. This is kind of fun. I've never specialized in uh, illusion, so I'm kind of enjoying this. He's caught on something. Bring it up, bring it up, bring it on up here. Come on. Cinema. Okay, this guy's going crazy. Two kills? How many left in the ship? There's a bunch of cooked food in here as well. Ah, there you are. Woo! Big hit. Still alive. Go back and fight your teammate. Why are you chasing me? Oh, he smoked him across. The oh, he's smacking him across the head. Okay, one guy left. How do I take him out? Don't sit. Don't sit. Get up. <laughs> Don't sit. Get up. Ow. Ow. I was just trying to grab some salmon steak. I need him to follow me outside. I don't know what those random knocks and noises are around here. Is he not going to follow me out here? Yo, this is a new one. Come on, you got this. Figure it out. I 
have no clue what that is. What I'm hoping though is that, oh, he's still following me. What in the God's name is that? Ah! Holy crap, oh, oh, that's terrifying. Oh my God, <laughs> he's a demon. Oh, <laughs> he got like clothesline. What in the fuck happened to my game? <gasps> Bastard, he's learned how to open doors. Will he follow us out? <gasps> he followed us out, now he's fixed. Maybe we can do a similar thing we did to the wolf. Get him to fall off the top of the lighthouse. That'd be really funny if that just ends up being the strategy for every dungeon. Right here, he's gonna power attack at me. I'm gonna dodge and he's gonna go right off the edge. Oh, close. We need to position him perfectly. Get off, oh God, I thought we had him there. Oh, no, oh, we about had him there, come on. Go, 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 oh, he was right on the edge again. Ooh. Oh God. Uh. Uh. No. What? 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 what, 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 what. All right, bring it on. Epic showdown. You and me, top of the lighthouse. Okay, so I noticed something really strange in that last fight, though. If I hit him mid power attack with fury, he seems to like glitch out and slide forward. If I can time that perfectly and get him to release his power attack and slide forward, maybe we get him to just go flying off the edge. Didn't work that time. I think I timed it too late. No power attack. Injured? From what? Ah, oh. oh, shit. Come on, power attack me, bitch. Power attack me. I know you want to. Oh. There it goes. He's off. Woo! Dainty slowed. Cleared. Boulder Fall Cave. I don't think that's too bad. If it's a regular cave, I think we have great odds. And what is our weapon of choice? Please be illusion. Now I want it to be illusion every time. Destruction? Oh, the believers are in. The believers are in the driving seat. All right, quick shopping trip in solitude. Let's get elemental flare, break the game. All right, let's take a look. What do you got for destruction? Elemental flare, 229. But I do kind of want to try and avoid using it because it is unbelievably overpowered. I'm going to grab Firebolt. Climb and back and we'll be off. Boulder Fall Cave. Not as much damage as I'd like to do. Three down. <gasps> oh, we almost got Gloom Reach. Come on, please. Give me Illusion. Give me Illusion again. Illusion sweep. Let's go. We got an hour and 18 minutes for two more dungeons. I, if we get this under three hours, I'm, I'm going to be very, very, very proud. Should be somewhere around here. Gray Winter Watch. All right, let's see what's in here. Ah, oh, fuck. We have trolls. Shit. Are trolls immune to fury? Relax, buddy. Relax. They're definitely going to be immune to fury. Uh, fury. <gasps> it's tiny. It's tiny. There's only two trolls. What, what are you doing in here? <laughs> Officer, I appreciate the assistance, but this was a really dumb idea. Oh God. Okay, maybe I have not lucked out this time. Do we just have to grind Muffle? I need to get up to level 40 so I can take Indomitable Will. Combining the bed that we have, along with the food that we have, we should get a couple days of grinding Muffle. I think this will be enough to get us to level 40. Already at 26. Why? Why? Why now? Why here? Gentlemen, gentlemen, not now. I'm in the middle of grinding. There you go, Sadia. Precision really isn't good indoors for these two-handed guys, is it? Sadia, no! Oh, God, Sadia! Hold up! Really, Mikhail? Not the time to start singing. Come on, everybody in town, help me out. Help out your friendly neighborhood chaos mage. Nice. I really need to stop getting people in this town killed. I just can't help myself. Ring of Minor Magicka. Wait. I know. Okay, illusion spells are 50% stronger. Living targets up to level 15. I have a feeling that trolls are level 20. I don't want to look at chat. I don't want someone to break my heart. Are they level 20? Wait, they're level 14? If the trolls are only level 14, this is incredible news. Please work. Please, for the love of Talos, work. It worked! It worked, he's furious. Let each other have it, have at him. No, don't come after me. 
Nope, stop. Don't don't come after me. One troll down. Okay, now we need to go get a guard to follow us in here. Yes! Time to cleanse the Empire of its filth. Please don't shoot me. Let's not do this. Okay, they missed. No! Every oh, God damn it! Shoot. Okay. Oh, fudge. Melee? Melee? Put the arrows away. Ugh. Nice one. Nice try, dork. Don't you dare! Don't you dare pull out the... Mm. <laughs> Mm, they kill him. They keep pulling out the bows. Okay, okay. I took an arrow to the knee. Come on, follow me inside. Did I did I ruin it by engaging in conversation with him? If he doesn't show up after waiting for an hour, he's not gonna come in. Do I reroll the cave or the magic? What do you guys think? Reroll cave. All right, everyone seems to want to reroll cave. Our illusion skill is fairly high. Uh, I hope it's a good one. We're fucked. It's so, so over. Abs, it is, it's, it's never been more over. Climb and back and we'll be off. The Hag Ravens only spawn in the quest? Wait, really? We're probably gonna be okay then? He's just awesome. Yep, okay, we're in the right spot. They're only on the outside, so we don't need to kill them to mark it clear. Woo, hey, watch where you're throwing that ice spike. No, spider, go fight your master. Come on, spider, why are you attacking me? Ah! Useless ass spider. Can't hide from me. Ah! No! Yes, good save. Ah! Oh, get out of here. Please stop. Stop attacking me. Kill each other. Stop attacking me. Oh, you bitches. Oh my gosh. Oh, she's just about dead. Still frenzied? Okay, two witches down. Okay, there's the hag. Wow. <laughs> Why did I have to get the troll? It was all going perfectly. Oh, piss off. Mm, I hate the frost spells. Come on, hit, hit. Of course you missed, you idiot. Oh, you suck. You suck. Fuck you. Not getting me down here. You think you stand a chance? No, not really. <laughs> okay, one down. Uh, is the hag the final boss? Got her. Come on, bring it. Bring it! Right around the corner. Don't do that. Don't she then walk around the corner. Unfucking believable this game. Does she see me? 